may know this, but some of you may not. Our church was started on a steamboat. According to Mary Patterson Robbins, who was the daughter of the steamboat captain, Titusville at that time, which was 1886, was a city of saloons. There were several saloons and no churches. The first church, she continues, was a community church with a Presbyterian minister. My father started the subscription for it by placing a plate on a table in the ladies' cabin on the boat with a card worded thus. This is to build a church in Titusville. We have no church in Titusville. So in less than six months, the first Presbyterian church was built and furnished. We did well for many, many years, but in 1967, the first church was taken down and a new church was built because the state of Florida's changes to US-1, which was considered by many churches in the area as an unchristian undertaking. Many churches protested, but to no avail. And this church was built, designed by, and I quote, a good Catholic named Parrish, his first Presbyterian church. He designed the choir loft in the back because in accord with the Presbyterian tenants, putting the choir in the back was the correct thing to do. Now, no other churches in this area had a pipe organ. So a committee went to Mrs. Roy Roberts and asked her for a donation and she contributed the money to pay for the entire organ in memory of her husband. Uh, Hobart Whitman, who was uh, organist at that time, was on that committee. And this organ was built by the E.M. Skinner Company with 646 pipes and a set of chimes. Now the largest pipe organ in the world is the Boardwalk Hall Auditorium Organ in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is in the world. And it has 33,114 pipes. So we're a little small and compared to them, but it does make a beautiful sound. Um, when they installed the organ, Hobart, along with a group of the men in the church, had to have a test drive on the organ, and they all had to sit down and play. Dedication Sunday was March the 12th, 1967, with a service in the morning and an organ concert featuring Jesse Brookhart, Jr., organist at First Presbyterian of Orlando. The morning service started well until the seats started falling in the pews. And I can attest to that because my family was in the first pew that went. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say, the men of the church got together and that afternoon they supported the seat part of the pews with plywood so that the organ, successful organ concert was performed that evening. And the following organists, along with Hobart Whitman, are organists that we have had here at the church. Betty Marston, our beloved Carol Carlson, our wonderful Barbara Lee, Gary Galloway, who during his tenure moved the console from the side over to the center, Mary Myers, and our fantastic Jim Brown. Thank you.